mothers, their mothers, the family of death ending world peace. Skin color matters. Where am I? I am the one you called me chink in the schoolyard. I'm the one who called you impotent poet. <laughs> I'm American born and foreign, but in your eyes, I'm Susie Q with brown doleful eyes. Okay. Okay, this is a long one. Pimps of Chinatown. Yeah. A photographer friend emailed me uh, who happens to work at the American Museum of Natural History and is the union organizer for DC 37 only 35 years ago. And he grew up in Chinatown. My family had an apartment on Bayard Street for over 60 years. I've been in the park, Columbus Park, and unfortunately in that funeral parlor many times over. Jack Chan and um, there's this, um, um, oh God, man, it's so hard to say this. Okay, in 1980, Jack Chan and Robert Glick are outsiders looking in the box. In other words, um, Chinatown friends, they are the pimps of Chinatown profiting from our miseries. Remember those, his, those photos were taken during Reaganomics? The pitiful beginnings and the rise of an oligarchy and demagogue. That was when basement workshop members disbanded because there was no jobs acquired, uh, available in Chinatown except for the garment factories. Jack Chan available in Chinatown, well, Jack Chan acquired the Chinatown Historical Society and hoarded the hard-earned works of Yiling Hoon and Ken Hua Chen, whose family owned a hardware store on Elizabeth Street between Canal and Pell Street. I instead had gone in 1984 to the Philippines where democracy was fermenting during Marco's dictatorship <coughs> in quest of democratic movements in Asia. I mean, there was a belief the domino effect. And came photographer, I photographed the peasants, workers, and middle class rallying against Marco's dictatorship that has been an ongoing struggle among Asian nations and Asian communities. However, the follow-up the follow photos of these children in my trailer will f probably end up dead or drug addicted. These are photos I took in 1980 of kids, you know starving, working, weaving baskets for Bloomingdale's and so on. Um, so now they're killing the drug users and the suppliers. I'm sure the kids in Robert's photos had reached their glass ceilings and still remain as restaurant workers or small business owners. Presently, due to new presidential policies, Media must be scrambling to find alternative success stories from ghettos to counter the rich man's ignorances of exploiting America's hard-earned democratic changes since the Civil Rights Movement and Vietnam War, where also Asians and Americans were victims of racism. I can testify to that. Well, anyway, that's it. <laughs> I had a rough time with that.